state of the NFL media. Uh, we weak management gets swayed by public opinion very easily. Think about this happens at every job. Think about um, a lot of people have worked in a restaurant, right? Think about if you have a weak boss, people are going to come in late. People are going to, you know, you work at a restaurant. People are going to get some free meals here and there, you know, a free drink here, free drink there. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter because weak management you can kind of walk over them a little bit, right? You can kind of, you can sway them. Hey, hey, Mr. Manager, we need this, this, and this. And, oh, well, hey, okay, you know, uh, whatever, whatever works for you guys, right? You're going to see that happen in Chicago, and you shouldn't let it happen. The fans chanting, we want feels. That's fine. Justin's been a, you know, good kid, good pro, uh, very uh, talented quarterback. I would argue underwhelming in terms of wins, losses, and, and what we've gotten from the draft choice in terms of value. But he's been a, a good pro, a good kid, very talented, and he's really playing well right now. He deserves credit for that. But to 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 argue that you would not pick Caleb Williams over sticking with Justin Fields is an absolutely downright insane proposition. It makes no sense. It makes no That'd be like saying if the Steelers held the first pick, you would take Kenny Pickett over Caleb Williams. Now, granted, Justin Fields is way more productive and way more talented than Kenny Pickett on a statistical basis. But if we're talking wins and losses here, which is what makes the dough, that makes the money in the league, you win, you make money as, a, as an organization. If we're talking pure wins and losses and production in that and leading them to, you know, what's say, quote unquote, the promised land, Kenny Pickett's been way more productive, wins, losses, money brought in for the Pittsburgh Steelers than Justin Fields has for the Chicago Bears. It would be an insane proposition to say that. It is an insane proposition to say you would rather have Justin Fields, who, by the way, you have to pay coming up in about a year and a half. So not only is he not winning now with a with a rookie contract. Now, we can argue, you know, who's building the roster. That's not his fault that he doesn't have a great roster, right? He's been cheap. They should have built around him now. I get that argument. But if we pay him, the roster's not getting better. The roster's not getting better with a $30 million quarterback. I don't think he would garner massive $40, $50 million money. 30 35 which I wouldn't pay him. I wouldn't pay him $35 million. I'd pay him $25 million. But you get to restart the clock with a generational prospect. Like, let's, are we, un, do we all understand how good Caleb Williams is as a prospect? I don't care that he lost to Tulane last year. I don't care that he lost at Utah. It doesn't matter. Patrick Mahomes had a losing college record. I don't give a damn. I really don't. Big Ben played at Miami of Ohio, for Christ's sake. Are we really talking about, well, Caleb Williams lost a couple games in college? Who gives a rip? Nobody cares. Not a single scout can look anybody for real in the eye and say, your wins and losses matter more than anything. Do they matter a little bit? Yeah, sure. You'd like to see a guy who wins. It doesn't. If it was about winning, every single Georgia quarterback would be the number one overall pick. Every single Alabama quarterback would be the number one overall pick. It's not about wins and losses. It's about traits. It's about physical abilities. And Caleb Williams is one of the best prospects we've seen in the last two to three decades. I mean, the size, the speed, the, the, the arm, the accuracy. And I mean, we can talk about, oh, well, he cried here and he cried there and he seems like he pouts a little bit. Very mature, can read defenses, has been in a really, really tough system and has orchestrated it beautifully, right? He is a ready-to-go NFL superstar waiting to happen. Don't, don't mess this up, Chicago. You haven't had a franchise quarterback ever, I would argue. If you want to tell me Jay Cutler, I would disagree, but you, you haven't had a franchise quarterback ever. Go get your franchise quarterback. This kid, He's a can't-miss prospect. Don't outthink the room here. And then, then the media that's telling you that you should stick with Justin Fields, don't listen to that media. That's just downright stupid. Yeah, I was going to say and add to that. The NFL scouts don't give a damn about the, I guess, the lacking qualities of the USC defense. No, like, <laughs> I'm it's sorry. It's been the number but, one offense the last two years in college football. Yes, I, I'm they sorry. They average more points and more yards than anybody in college football over the last, what, 25 games? But their defense cracking and crumbling to a two lane is not going to affect Caleb Williams' draft stock whatsoever. Absolutely not. Like, can, I mean, we, can we relax with that, please? It is a, it is one of the dumbest arguments. This is, this is when, like, and you'll, you'll, it's only starting now. Just wait till like a month before the draft. Like pro days. Oh my God, you're going to hear Michael Penix could be the first <laughs> overall. P- Bo Nix is moving up draft boards. Drake May actually might be better, right? It's going to be just like, well, Zach Wilson is actually, if you think about it, a better prospect than Trevor Lawrence. No, he's not. No. 
He's five eleven, a buck fifty, soaking wet. <laughs> and and the fact that people, after watching him this year, like I understand that you can maybe see some special and you can maybe see some potential to to pop and the the athletic ability with Justin is always there. Yeah, I yeah, get yeah, that. for sure. He's a really talented player. But we just saw him only win five games out of what twenty six. He was he was like five for his first twenty six. Now he's won a couple lately, so I think he's like. I don't even think he's hit 10 wins yet. I think he's like 9-29 or if something like that. If you're not winning games, you cannot be the starting quarterback. In the NFL, I that matters. I to agree. So in college, winning doesn't matter as much as like your own, I guess, tools that you yeah, have as, right, a, as right, a player right. and athlete. Once you get to the NFL, no, no, winning matters. have to win. Winning it matters, doesn't yeah. matter what potential you have. That's like, why in terms of value, you think it's crazy, but Kenny Pickett's a more valuable quarterback than Justin Fields. Because there are more because wins. Because they wins. Because he wins. There's more wins. You yeah. sell more tickets. You make yeah. more money. Right. The organization benefits. Right. Anyway. Crazy. Um, you had a lot to say, huh? Yeah, yeah. It was a good one today. Absolutely. Came out fiery. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yeah. All right. New Year's.